boy got, and they couldn't put y'all in some suits, y'all up in there, some some coro, looking like some hobo, some dungarees on. And you know, I mean, good. I'm like, but grandma, we were on. That was, that's not, nice. this is, my that father style. said. That was style though. Yeah, my father said, but I have it, but I have it, you know. So she got over it. <laughs> yeah. But, 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 but that was the style though. Yeah, I mean, that, that was that was the style back then, you know, and, and, and also working with LL Cool J. What was that like? It was unreal, man. I mean, to think that I had grown up listening to I Need Love and Can't Live Without My Radio. And, and you know, I look up one day, I'm in the studio and this guy's in the vocal booth, King Gold and all, you know, or sitting next to me while we you know, working on music and, you know, I, I have this thing, I, I I call it my inner groupie. My inner groupie is always like, oh man, but it, you don't see that, you know, because that's not what's on. Right now, the task at hand, what we gonna do? Cause he's already successful. What can I bring to the table so that, you know, I can enjoy some of the success or be a part of something this guy has already done. And so, man, yeah, just being in the studio, even just, uh, meeting Molly Ma, man. I I was one year removed from college. I saw the video with him and Heavy D and Groovy Chill mm -hmm. and Andre Uptown Ampton, I think that's the name of that song. Huh? Uptown Ampton, I think that's the name of that song. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then I'm, UK now. I'm, I'm, UK. I'm... Yeah, and I'm working at a music store and he walks in and, you know, I, I had this keyboard that I learned that I became, I guess, the... the uh, the residence expert or the local re ex expert on the keyboard, he bought it from the 48th Street store in New York. And um, they came in and he said, hey man, he said, they told me to come over and see you, man. I bought this keyboard and they told me, you know, you know how to use it. So I had a little consultant hustle where if I sold you any equipment, I couldn't spend all the time showing you how to use it in the store because I had other customers that I had to help. Right. But if you lived in a 15 mile radius, you pay me 50 bucks an hour. I slide on now. Yeah, and you know, and I used to always do it in a way where, listen, I would tell people, write down a list, or you can even break out your VCR, or VHS camera, and whatever it is that you want to know, write it down. So when I get there, it wasn't like, I'm going to start with the table of contents, the power button is, no, 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 no. Whatever you want to know, that way when you paid me, you felt good about paying me because I helped you in an area where you didn't, know, you, you needed it versus I'm, I milked the clock and made all nah. So I was doing that when I met Marley and he set up a session and I went to his house up in upstate New York and I was waiting on him. He's like three hours late, man, you know? And I'm thinking oh, after one hour, after two hours, but I'm like, man, no, I'm just thinking like, well, how long do I have to wait? Cause this guy is Molly Ma. 